Hi guys, Dr. Burke here. I want to talk about long-term chronic sustain stress, okay? Now, normally, when you go through emergencies with your body, a stress event, short-term, cortisol is released. Cortisol is a hormone that's made from the adrenals, and it's pumped out in response to stress or an emergency or a trauma situation, okay? What it does is it adapts every tissue in your body to cope with a stress state. For example, it basically increases your blood pressure, right? If there's a tiger chasing you, you need higher blood pressure to run away. Uh, it actually turns your body into burning sugar as the primary fuel instead of fat because sugar is a quick fuel. It'll actually even turn your muscles into sugar as well. Uh, heightened awareness, so it makes you very ment mentally uh, focused and hyper-focused, uh, okay? It decreases inflammation, because think about it. If you're being chased by a tiger, you don't have time to have inflammation. You have to be able to run out of there, so it stops all long-term healing in the body. It stops reproductive sex hormones. You're not gonna have time to reproduce because you're being chased by the tiger, so all these hormonal um, sex hormones are put on hold. Anything repair is put on hold. Um, also, it decreases white blood cells. That's your immune system because you don't have time to go through this whole healing process again or your immune system. And this is the problem. It increases your risk or susceptibility to infections, okay? But it'll turn off allergies. That's why um, chronic exposure to cortisol over a period of time, if you have too much cortisol over a long period of time, Everything starts working in reverse. You start becoming allergic to everything. You start having being inflamed in all the joints and muscles. Loss of memory. No longer do you have heightened awareness. Now you have brain fog because the receptors, it's kind of like insulin. When you have high levels of insulin, you get insulin uh, resistance. The same thing happens with cortisol. Your, your body starts to reject too much cortisol in the body, and now the cells have low cortisol, and these are all the symptoms of low cortisol. But what happens, the signals come back and the body tries to make more, but it's not effective cortisol. See, cortisol is a really good thing, but not in large amounts. So it affects the memory. It decreases oxygen to the brain, um, uh, long-term stress. So uh, allergies, we talked about that, asthma, autoimmune. Almost every single autoimmune case is always has a stress event that occurs just before because the stress opens the door for the immune system to lose control. Viruses come out of remission as well. That's why stress will activate a canker sore or shingles pain. Uh, loss of memory, insomnia, belly fat, just, it just creates a problem within the entire body. So our bodies were never designed to handle the long-term um, stress, and I'm not just talking about physical stress, mainly now it's mental stress, it's losses, it's uh, just the, the amount of pressure that people are on now, it's just, it's astronomical. So um, what can you do about it, right? That's the next question. What you have to do is you have to repair the deeper causes. Look what they're doing now. They're treating each one of these with a different drug. Big mistake. What you want to do is you want to support cortisol by rejuvenating cortisol. You need to spend time extracting yourself from life, going out every single day and going for long walks, like an hour a day. I mean, you spend 24 hours a day working or in front of a computer. We need to spend some time outside without talking to anyone, just getting out in nature and just extracting yourself. Uh, we need to do... Um, Vitamin D is very, very healthy. Walking in sunlight is very good. Uh, doing acupressure on the adrenals, I'll put a link down below. Very powerful to take the stress out physically. Uh, nutrition, you need a lot of potassium, a lot of magnesium, a lot of B vitamins from nutritional yeast. We need to get off the sugar. And mainly we need to start sleeping more and more and more so we can rejuvenate. I'll put some links down below and some ideas, but I just wanted to talk about this is what's really killing people now is the sustained stress. Thanks for watching. Hey, you probably already subscribed, but if you haven't, press this little button down below and I will keep you updated.